morning everyone, it's another day. I'm feeling much better now. If you watched the video last time, I had a really bad stomach bug, but now I'm feeling better. Had a good match yesterday, we had a good win. Today we are heading up to the pitch once again. Wanted to make a bit of content for TikTok, for the all the socials basically. I am going up and we are kicking a football around. We are playing a match on Thursday, it is Monday. It's a really, really fast turnaround from our match yesterday. It's gonna be intense, Just pumping up two balls here now. It's a bit of a drizzly day. Yesterday was a fantastic day, it was sunny, it was warm. A great, great hurling match. But now we really turn our attention to football. So well, anyway, what I want to do is, since I'm using my phone so much with the TikTok things, I was gonna buy a, a tripod. I was gonna buy a tripod for my phone because basically what I do is when I'm at the pitch, I bring a towel and a water bottle. So I put the towel down on the wet grass basically, and then I put my phone on top of it and I lean it up against the bottle. I have to literally go prone onto the grass to get the proper shot for it like with that I'm also praying that I'm in the shot when I'm taking when I'm like shooting or passing or whatever because when I do it the odd time go on I'm doing these unbelievable shots like I'm doing it over shoulder bang with hurling like and all that but then I go and look at the camera and I'm like fuck I wasn't in the frame for god's sake what was the point in that like so I actually got my sister has one of those things I'll show you it's one of those one of these yokes it's a uh... It's the light, it's the light ring thing. But the reason I have it is because there's a phone holder on it, so it's basically a massive tripod. It's a bit annoying, I really wanted to take off the light, I don't want that, it's like drawing attention to myself. The whole the tripod thing is, is a part of the light, so I can't take it off. So I have two TikToks to make today, both of them are gonna be done here. So the first one is a, a warm-up game, a warm-up free competition, basically. You can see the four posts there, right? You're taking a shot at each one. So you start at 20, take four shots, go back, take four shots, that's basically all it is. To make it fun, what you do is, you add like elements into it so one point is kicking over the bar with your strong leg you get two points if you kick it over the bar with your weak leg and you get three points if you kick it off the ground if you do four eight the maximum thing you can get is eight 16 21 no jesus christ 21 24 since I had a match yesterday so I'm only going to take six shots so I'm going to take six shots doing this free competition thing that'll be my warm-up and then after that I'm just going to take a few shots since I've made my schedule now I've made a proper full-on schedule until the end of April I have everything scheduled out so there should be no stress I should be able to get everything done I don't have to be like waking up being like oh fuck what am I doing today because this is really working now right I nearly hit a thousand followers on TikTok and to be fair I got all them within it's been around a month now I think I've it's been a month I've got a thousand so hopefully it grows much quicker than this i got through 700 and 800 ridiculously fast the biggest growth i noticed was yesterday when me and emma went to go see that new movie about michael jordan called air but the air jordans i went in there with like 820 followers and i came out of that movie with more than 900 so yeah need to keep that up and here we are we're gonna go do this That was great crack, but fucking hell bye. I need to work on my shooting, that was pathetic. <laughs> I know, look, I'm gonna say it now, that was my first time kicking a ball around. Besides in training, that's my first time properly going up to the pitch and kicking the ball around for a while, and it was shit. Had one or two gorgeous moments, but like, am I gonna do that in a match? Not really. I'm making a thing out of that, that's gonna be my new thing. So basically on TikTok, I've seen a few boys basically just playing like nine holes of golf, but they like show the whole thing like, and it's just them playing golf and it's done really quickly. You get it all done, they get the whole video done in about a minute and a half. That's what I'm gonna do for football and hurling. I'm gonna do free competitions just like by myself and then get like other people into it. So today was football, just to warm up like six shots out of 18, I got about six, I got halfway, get new people into it and hopefully like branch out like, if I got like an actual like inter-county hurler to start doing it with me that kind of way or something like that you know? I have so much to do first of all I was supposed to record a video yesterday I didn't so now I have to record that I have to edit it I have to upload it I have to edit the two TikToks for today I have to voice over the two TikToks for today tomorrow then I have to actually do my ad I have to do some pro coffee I think it's called also I would fucking highly recommend that new movie Air with Matt Damon and um, Ben Affleck Jesus what a 
movie. I ranked that in the nines. And I love movies. I watch every single movie. And it's very hard to get into the nines, I'll tell you that. The only movies this year that have gotten into the nine for me would have been Puss in Boots and Air. It's a fantastic story about like how Nike got the sponsorship with Michael Jordan and how that like basically revolutionized all the like sports shoes, basketball shoes. I don't know if it was definitely like over dramatized or basically making it out that Nike were shit and Nike were useless. I doubt that was the case. I I'm pretty sure they had billions of dollars. Yeah, and it was them up against like Converse and Adidas and all that. Like it was a great, great fucking movie. I recommend the Super Mario movie. Plot was the most simple fucking plot ever, but if you've played Mario before, you will love this movie. So annoying. So I'm doing a video on cross country, like just basically like how I got into cross country, how I'm doing it. I'm basically only just editing it now when it's two o'clock. I joined a club named Abbey Striders. They were my very first athletic club. And um, I'm on their Facebook page and I'm praying that I find a picture of me somewhere. They do a lot of like archived old pictures. They put up a load. And I'm on the time now where I was here. And there's so many faces I recognize. But I'm not in fucking any of the pictures. I'm like, I know I was only there for a year. But I was praying. I was at, I was at a few of their events like. I thought I seen me. Some guy looks exactly like me. Disaster is striking everywhere now, right? So, of course, I couldn't find a picture of me in Abbey Striders. Like, there were, I seen all the lads I ran with. And I, I wasn't fucking there. I ran with Blarney. I, I, I ran with this club for about four years. And there's, or four years, probably about two or three years. There's nothing. After working on this all morning and whatever, it's half three now. Finally got the everything done. Here's the thumbnail. Importance of cross country. It is now half five. We've been working throughout the whole day. And let me tell you, there's nothing better than getting everything done on time. I'm now going to go to the Junior B game with Emma. I've got the two TikToks done for today. I got the video done for today. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There's nothing better than finishing everything like that. It was so much fun. That was not the Junior B's finest moment, that. Yeah, it was actually, to be fair, it's starting to feel a bit like summer now. It feels like summer. Who thinks that? Callum Harris. Does he? <laughs> of course he does. He always comes out of the woodwork at summer. <laughs> Tell him how long you've left until you're done. Yeah, I'm finished college. I'm finished college in a week. That's mad, like four years of college. Like, it's just gone. It's just over. Like, it won't be long now till we move. I've told them my plans. You tell them your plans. We are out moving straight away. So you have your stupid championship in August. Which also means we can't go on holidays because I'll be working in June and July. Well, there you go. So are you blaming me, but you, you're working. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Anna. I can't remember what the question was now because you just me. <laughs> Our plan all along was to move in September. I want to book a ticket like right now. I haven't got any money. Yeah, so there you go. Just yeah. Why are you literally airing out our dirty laundry right now? We both have problems really. Oh, <laughs> I'll take about 20 years to go around me. Don't kick at him. Oh man, please stop. Oh, look at that for a ball. Good boy. Hello. Hi. Hi. We go. Go. I beat the dog four times in a race. <laughs> and now I have to stretch because my hamstring. I have to stretch my hamstring. Yeah, my mom pulled his hamstring trying to beat my Jack Russell. Joey, good boy. Good boy. 